Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory. Let's see, I didn't really do much between episodes. I just kind of experimented with what it's going to look like once we build the walls here <laughs> on this giant, giant factory. But uh, I think once we encase it in, and then eventually when we can paint or we try the paint gun, we can make this look pretty cool and get a little more creative with it. So we had a little bit of work to do on the top floor of our steel production factory here. Let's get to that work. And then on the way down, we'll collect some steel beams just for our own inventory to have on hand. And then I think we'll, there's our pipes. I don't know, maybe we'll grab some of those too. But then I wanna overclock the limestone mine if we, whoops, way over here, if we've got the uh, power shards to do it and just amp up that production a little bit. And then maybe head back to the hub and see what else we want to take on. Maybe go after producing something for research. You know, something that we're missing. All right, this is going to be our kind of merge area. We want to come this way. So I should have I should have left myself some more room over here. It's a little snug. But let's go ahead and you've seen me do it before. We're going to put mergers here and have one big output belt. And then we're going to split that belt and do some stuff with it. Let's get the right hot bar going here. Not that guy. This one. Ten. And we want to head the other direction, right? We want that way. Very cool. Let's belt these up. Oh, do I have... Yeah, I've powered everything up, so we're good for that. I don't see any output products. Are we actually making anything here? That guy is, and these guys aren't getting anything. How come? Let's see. No power. How is that possible? I must have missed a... Missed a cable. Not like me to do that. Same thing here? No. What's the issue here? Are we running into power shortages or something? Escape. This one probably needs the recipe. Nope. Waiting on materials. That's all right. Kind of to be expected, unfortunately. If we wanted to, we could donate some materials. Do we have... ingots all oh, ingots do we have I don't oh right here it's right up top let's uh let's donate 200 to the cause yeah these guys we're gonna want this is gonna allow us to get the MK miner MK2 miners I believe but let's do what we need to do here. Let's take the end of this guy. I didn't leave myself room that way. We're going to come over. How do we want to do this? Kind of, let's see. I don't have a clear picture in my head of what I want to do just yet. I want to split here, I think. And then I want our little kind of storage for us, our personal storage, for if we don't need to come by and grab a stack of this stuff. We got a place to do it. Where? What's going on here? Did I not? Oh, I guess I didn't put it down yet. Great. Somewhere like that is fine. I'll grab a level one belt. Ooh, that might be too snug. No, that's good. Perfect. Okay with that. And then on this side, we want to put a Bubba. 
industrial storage. Uh, hopefully we can get that lined up. That's better. Let's, um, I don't imagine we're going to want to split, but let's leave a little room just in case. That guy goes in there. This is our little export belt. We're going to grab all of this now. Whoop. And this production is going to be probably pretty slow. Where are the beams coming from on this? I can't remember. Are they being shared? I can't remember. Anyway, we are done up here for now. Stuff we want to produce is getting produced. We're going to grab a couple stacks of things just to have in the inventory. I need to clean out my inventory. It's getting pretty full. But this, uh, the inventory mods is really a time saver. Mainly got it for YouTube purposes, so you didn't have to watch me shuffling my inventory around. But now that I'm really playing with it, I think I would have used it anyway, even if I wasn't, uh, doing YouTube. It's just a huge time saver. All right, we've got some pipes on hand. Let's keep heading down. Where do I go down? Here we go. And let's see, there may not be many beams to grab here. This is the product that's kind of under, under supplied. I guess, mm, yeah, let's, uh, I was going to say what we could do is work on overclocking the coal mine and come back and continue to scale this factory of steel. But I kind of want a diversion from this. We've spent a bunch of time over here. Maybe on the way out, we'll go check this, uh, this wreck down here and see what it needs. So let's hop out of here. We'll go do the limestone, overclock that, and then we'll head over to the crash wreck. And then we will head back to our hub and just see what else we want to take on. We're going to leave these truck stations here. I think they're sucking up power though. Maybe I'll disconnect. Maybe I'll disconnect the power just to make sure they're not sucking up power. Cause I think they do. Or one of the little videos I saw mentioned that, uh, person thought they used a lot of power. So we're not really making use of these yet. Um, yeah, let's, I'm going to shut this off and just see if it still dumps material out of its output for it. If it doesn't, we're going to have to power it or I can just move this over for now. Nope. It doesn't take inventory or anything. Let's, let's take this apart for now. We'll do this later. I just don't want to waste electricity because I think we're going to be, that's going to be on the short list of things we need to do also is head out to the coal plant and, um, overclock those things, re put the MK2 miners down and scale up our power generation out there. So that is definitely on the list. Let's see if I've got power shards or what I got left. I got three, uh, I don't know if limestone's gonna be the real issue. Why don't we just double this? So 60 parts a minute. These guys each take target production rate 60 parts a minute. Did that change? Yeah, 60. Wait a minute. Oh it yeah, I'm confused with what this is showing me. Limestone, 30 per minute. 30 parts per minute. Okay. So we can double it. That's good. 60 a minute. And these guys are 45, right? 45, yeah. So they're plenty... They'll stay plenty busy. Uh, or they'll be able to chew everything this guy throws at them. We could throw one more in there. Um, blah, blah, blah. Don't think it's as important yet. 
really, really want the steel beams to, uh, to produce. That's the main thing we need for our upgraded belts. How is this belt doing? It's not really compressed. We could upgrade this one. I'm kind of tempted to do that since this isn't backing up. We've got one more slot. I got one more uh, power shard. Let's do it. Then let's hop in our truck and see if we can actually path our way out of here. We might not be able to. And head over to that wreck. Is there any way for us to get out of here, or did I block us in completely? Whoa. Yeah, I can see how having them being able to blast these rocks would get important if we were doing a lot of trucking. Oh, man. Boy, I gotta be really careful going over the bridge if we do this. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. My volume. Maybe not yours. Alright, can I get down there? Uh, let's not mess with it. Let's just uh, run down there. Go check out the crash site. Yeah, I can see myself falling into the abyss in my little tractor. I'm not going to take a chance just yet. This we're going to come back and replace with an MK2, so I'm probably not going to bother um, overclocking that. I think that rack is back here. Here we go. Let's see what it is. I don't think I put a beacon here. We got some scraps I can pick up. Screws. Odds and ends. Anything good? Probably missing stuff. It's a little hard for me to see. All right, let's do this. Oh, we just happen to have those frames. Good thing we automated them. Okay, there's our hard drive. That's done. Um, how do we want to... Do we want to mark this as being done? Nothing here for me to do, right? I've been using those little pipe things for the uh, caves. Why don't I do that? That's just there to let me know when I come by that that's already been taken care of. Alright, back to base. There's our truck. I gotta find a path across the chasm here. Where's our little thing? Way down there, of course. Probably should do the parachute at some point. Impatience here is gonna cost me half a... It's gonna cost me a barrel nut. <laughs> Ooh, can I fix that or not? Let's see. There's a little lip here. Might as well fix it. No pun intended. Better? Ooh, the camera controls are limited here, right? I can't scroll up and like look for the um look for our space elevator. There it is. I guess we gotta follow the power lines. Yeah, I did a lot of <laughs> I did a ton of power poles. 
that's more than usual. The off to the left is kind of the usual, and off to the right is a little bit more than usual. Not sure this truck is any faster than walking. I think the dune buggy is, that little buggy. Hopefully we can get that at some point. Oh, I'm not sure if we're protected from the uh, poison clouds. No, we probably wouldn't be, right? We're standing on the outside. That's full throttle. Really need to clean up my inventory here. I'll have to do that between episodes. It's going to be pretty tedious to watch. All right, we are home. What are we doing over here? Forgot what we were even producing over here. Oh, yeah. That's cool. No more handcrafting those. Let's take a look at the hub. And think about what we want to do. I need to create the um, power shards too, but let me let me do a few things. Let's find our slugs. Bauxite, sulfur. Do I have any stuff I could unload like that too? Limestone. See, I got to clean this, but I don't want to do this all on camera. I wouldn't mind getting rid of some of this. Terium. Quartz. How are we doing on quartz? Only 52. I know there's a whole research tree on that. We might want to scan for that and set up a mine if we can. All right, that's good enough for that. Let me just make sure there's no power slugs in this other guy. Doesn't look like it. Let's hammer out some um, power shards. What is this? Just two at a time or something? Power shard one. Power shard two. Do Yellow power slug. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, this gives me two for the yellows. That's fine. Yeah, I kept thinking at the beginning of the game, I thought the overclocking and the slugs gave you different types of power shards. I didn't know that they just gave you different multiples of power shards. I don't know if there's any reason to keep the slugs and not convert them. So I'm just going to convert them all. I can always get more slugs. I don't have any purples. So that gives us 25 power shards. Now let's head over to, you, or just turn around and see what we want to do here. Uh, complete the space elevator phase two. Done everything here. We haven't done the hyper tubes. Oh, we're just seven short. Seven short. Let's see if I can craft seven encased industrial beams. Might as well. We're right here. It doesn't look like it's going to take much time to craft these. In fact, I might craft quite a few more. Yeah, let me do this until our steel beams get down to, say, like 320 or something. I think it'll be good to have some of these encased industrial beams on hand without having to run back to the factory. So a few more, five more runs here. Three, four, five. Okay, good enough. Hyper tubes. Let's select this guy. And boom. Boy, that's using a lot of our stuff, but that's all right. That's what it's for. Why we're making it. All right, here we go. Boom. Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed hey, where's our ship? Incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. 
safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. Hmm. I'm going to have to experiment with those. I think they're, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they can be dangerous or not. I have no idea what happened to our hub ship. Unless it just launched light speed or something and left. Uh, it says it's going to return in nine minutes. Efficiency checker. Oh, this is a mod. Let's do, let's knock this one out. We got, uh, we got to pick up concrete anyway. It's right next door. We kind of want a lot of this just because of the way I build. And then what else? Uh, I think we can, can we pick that milestone or not yet? Okay, we got a week. They're not going to let us supply it until we're done. What does that get us? That gets us efficiency checker. I'll have to maybe do this between episodes too. And uh, kind of practice with the mods, because I'm not really making use of them too much. I don't think there's anything in the MAM we need to worry about. We just did this a couple episodes ago. I don't have enough stuff yet. I mean, there's stuff we can see we want to research. Quick wire. I guess I'm most interested in the ports and this stuff. Rifle cartridges. Ooh, what is that? Rubber. Ooh, yeah, we got to find oil, right? I'm guessing for that. Rubber. Recipes. Nothing. Rubber is a material that's very flexible and has a lot of friction. All right. What else? Let's take a look at the space elevator. See what they're waiting on for us. So we can unlock some more levels. That's... We're going to need to do it. Alright. We've got three new things to make. So this looks kind of interesting. Because we've got an extra iron mine over by our steel factory. There's an empty or an untapped iron deposit that we could use to make those reinforced or whatever those, um, where are they? These guys. Oh, I can't keep remembering what their name is. Modular frames. So we could use that iron mine set up in a little iron factory and at least make the iron frames. And then export the steel beams and those iron frames, iron modular frames, to some third factory, kind of small, that's just kicking out these uh, versatile frameworks. Or so that's a project we could do. This guy takes, let's see, this one's not trivial, right? Rotors. And reinforced plates. That's mostly all steel, right? How did I get that to let me look at the recipe? Um, yeah, rotors. I think that's rotors, right? Yeah. That's another thing. I think that is all steel. Or all iron. Let me look at that. Yeah, that's all iron. We've got some extra iron deposits laying around that we could automate that as well. We could set up a factory for this. We could set up a factory for this pretty easy. We're going to have to, right? So we're going to do these things. It's just what do we want to bite off first? This guy, is that cable? What automated wiring? Let's just bring that up in the codex. Automated wiring. 
cable, I think. Yeah, cable. And then pipes and stators, right? We talked about exporting the pipes somewhere where we can find a copper deposit. So if we could find a copper deposit somewhere by our steel factory, we could export those pipes and build the stators. We're going to need to do all of that. Hmm. Just about all those products except for the iron. Uh, kind of beg for us to overclock the uh, steel factory and max that out. So maybe that will help us with almost all the products here. And then if we can find a couple iron deposits nearby to do the, what was it? The one that required the reinforced plates. That's a whole bunch of iron. This guy. That's a factory with just a bunch of iron coming in. I think that gets us all the way through. So that's a brand new factory. Uh, but we can find some iron deposits and set that up as well. But let's... Hmm. We got halfway through. We could scope out a site for that or we could just start up updating our, trying to overclock our, our IR steel mine. Why don't we do a little bit of the more work on the steel mine and then we'll start fresh. We'll see how far we get, but maybe next episode we'll start fresh and try and find a couple iron deposits and start a brand new factory for those stator things or not the stator things, the other, that other thing. <laughs> I can't remember what it is. The one that takes the reinforced plates and the rotors. So I've got the power shards. We've got, um, we should have the stuff we need now to build the MK2 miners. Whoops, this is the wrong factory. We want to come way over here. Yeah, and eventually I'll replace these power poles. They do look kind of silly. Close enough. Let's run over to the coal plant and see about replacing that, um, see about replacing the miner with an MK2. Do we have a ramp here? Here it is. Oh, I'd like to make this like a double wide ramp too. Hopefully I have what I need. Let's see. Production MK2 miner. Yeah, I do. Just barely. We'll have to get some of those more uh, encased beams, but let's take this up. I don't think I have any shards in here yet. No. It's the end of that. And then we might want to think about upgrading the, um, the belts to level three, but man, I need a lot of steel beams for that. Might have to handcraft some. Which I'm not crazy about doing, but we might have to. Hopefully this looks the same. Does it look the same? Will it snap in? Uh, boy. We'll find out. All right, this bad boy is going to put out 240 per minute. Can you split right off of this thing? And, uh, I wonder if you can split right off of this to multiple belts. Or if it doesn't like that. Because we're going to amp up when we power this thing up. We're going to exceed the MK3 belts, right? 
Mark three belts, I should call them. Yeah, 270. But if I ran a splitter here, would they let me do it? In fact, let's... What is it doing? Is it backed up? Or did I just run out of power? What's going on? Mining 2%. Power looks fine. Is it just backed up? How can that possibly be? No, it's not hooked up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. This... Alright, I've got an idea. Anyway, let's, uh... Let me hop up here just so I can see better. I may orient this thing different. And I'm wondering if I can just slap a spitter, a spitter, <laughs> a splitter on the end of this. If that's acceptable or not. It looks like it might not be. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to let me do that. Bummer. So I can't really make use of overclocking this until we get like Mark IV belts or something. Hmm. Let me just see if there's something mysterious here in the logistics that I'm not thinking about that would help us. I don't think so. I don't think it wants you to do it. So this is going to be our choke point. 270 per minute. This guy is going to get us 240. We can overclock a little bit, but oh man, that's kind of disappointing. Bummer. All right. Yeah, that's uh, a bit disappointing. Yeah, let's see. We need to upgrade these guys. Not sure if I'm going to be able to, but we'll find out. I've got enough. I do. There, that guy's faster. And let's see. Let's see if we can upgrade the belt up top. I think I should climb up top to see if I can do that. Let's, uh... Oh man, yeah, that's right. I gotta get back to the factory. So let's walk up here. Back up through here. Around. Eventually we'll clean this up. As I keep saying. Alright. Let's upgrade our coal belts as much as we can. Then we're gonna have to fetch some uh, steel beams. Okay, this guy needs to be upgraded. And I need to upgrade my, uh, or update my hotbar with the newer belts. Hopefully, we're going to see the improvement here. That looks better. Okay. Okay. 
we can still overclock that coal mine a little. Why are they not? Okay, I'm out of, uh... The conveyor belt must snap to a conveyor pole. Okay, I'm trying to upgrade, but do I not have the resource? What's going on? Escape? What's going on here? These guys are just starved out of iron? Ooh. I guess maybe we'll have to... Yeah, we'll have to upgrade that as well. All right, let's see why this wasn't wanting to upgrade. Bear must snap to a conveyor pole or a building. Okay, this is not an MK3, is it? Okay, maybe. Yeah, MK3, it says right there. Okay, that's done. Um, downstream here, it's not as important, right? These are kicking out quite a bit slower. I'm not going to worry about those. The iron, though, we need to... We need to overclock that. That is clearly the bottleneck. Or is it just our belts? I think it's... I think it's just all the iron. Let's go to the... Let's go to the iron mine. Overclock that thing to the max. But first, let's grab some steel beams so we can upgrade belts along the way. Hopefully we'll have some. Take all these, take all these, and take all these, and let's head over to the iron mine. We could always use the other one, the both iron mines over here. Not sure we're going to need to. What we can do is put down an uh, MK2 miner over here as well. Mark II. I should keep calling him Mark II instead of MK. Kind of corny, MK. Okay, let's uh, grab this. And we probably need to grab that as well. Let's see if we've got what we need to build this guy. Can't see that looks right. Something like that. Mark two. Let's start with this and just see how it goes. I think I'm, I don't know that I'm going to have the belts that I need for this. Uh, 463. We'll try. Yeah, I think this is worth doing. Because we're going to use a ton of these products. Boy, it's going to be easy to miss a spot with the upgrade, it seems like. Okay, I need to upgrade this guy. we doing we still got 350 something steel beams whoops 
That's you. And now we got to fork out in a couple different directions. I don't think this one actually needs... These ones actually need it. This guy only takes 45 per minute. I don't think that's going to need to be upgraded. Right? No, this is going to fill up and then it's going to back up. I believe. I'm not planning on overclocking these guys ever. So that I don't think I need. I think I just need these main, the bus kind of sections of belt. So we'll try and save a little bit of steel beams until we're really flush with them. Probably this far downstream, I probably don't even need them. 18. Oh, I know I'm going to miss like a little corner or something. That should help quite a bit. These early ones may back up. Let's see. Can't tell. 23 down to 20. 23 down to 20. Down to 19. So these guys are not getting enough. So we may need more. May need to overclock a little bit more. On the iron. It looks like we do, right? A surplus of coal. We need to overclock that iron. Uh, the belts, I think we're, we might be in good shape. Let's go head over and... Throw another power shard in there. The belt should be... Yeah, the belts can take it for sure. I think all the belts can take it. Our power... We're going to need to... After this, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to need to go to the other coal plant. And, uh... Work on power generation. I just have a feeling we're going to run out. We're going to have problems. We may have surplus coal here. We need to, maybe between episodes I can do some math and see. As we, with the surplus coal, we may find a use for that. I don't want to overclock just to have a belt not moving. Like this one. I want to see these belts just sailing we'll see we just added a, some more iron and we can add more we could tap the other iron mine if we want and throw some more iron on this belt i think or even run a second belt in and feed a little further down but either way we're ramping up production pretty good here Again, I don't think it's belt speed here. Unless we see a backup on the iron coming in, and we don't. But it's not the downstream belts aren't slowing us down. Well, I imagine we're seeing the fully overclocked output here. And if I use that efficiency mod, we could probably... I see exactly. I'll have to practice with that as well. It does look pretty cool. Let's see how the iron supply is doing. No, it's not really. It's all it looks like it's almost equilibrium. Doesn't seem like it's climbing, doesn't seem like it's draining down to nothing. Surplus coal, though we can definitely see that. So we may scale this up with another iron mine. Bring another belt of iron ore in. Just so we can use up this coal. But yeah, see the coal's backing up. I don't like that. Let's 
see how we're doing in terms of the steel beams one level up because we're those are kind of important for all of our mark three belts and things we can probably run up top two and grab some reinforced or encased industrial beams while we're here and then maybe wrap up the episode let's see are we seeing any more production in here it's not it's not great not yet anyway hopefully this will improve Let's head up. And then, yeah, I think next episode, maybe what we'll do is grab... Um, grab... What was I going to say? Uh, grab, head over to the uh, power plant. The big power plant. And shore that up. Take our power shards with us. And just try and really amp that thing up. Maybe fight some enemies along the way. Do a little exploring. Take a break from some of the factory stuff. But yeah, I think we'll wrap this one here. Made a little bit of progress. We kind of amped up things. Got to drive the truck around a little bit. The tractor <laughs> around a little bit. But yeah, our steel production here is... Is improved greatly. It could improve some more though. And I think we're going to use a lot of this product. So we'll see. Lots to do for now, though. This is GliderCat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. And again, thanks to everybody who is giving these videos a thumbs up. I truly, truly appreciate that. Just takes a second. It's easy to forget. I forget a lot, too, when I watch other content. But it does really help. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.